Oh, hey. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Here, I got you this. Oh. You bought me food? Yeah. That's so thoughtful of you. I mean, I don't know if you must have eaten or not, or if you'd like to eat the food in the freezer, so I decided to get you something fresh. Oh, to be honest, I'm not eating. It's not because I didn't want to eat your food in the freezer, it's just... I don't know, I thought maybe that's what you probably want to have for dinner. I didn't want to touch it and all. But thank you for this, I really appreciate it. You're welcome. By the way, how was work? Oh, work was fine, thank you. Okay. Thank you again. You're welcome. I need to go and freshen up. <laughs> yeah, you need it. Enjoy your meal. Thank you very much. No meat, no fish. Okay, she enter a tree, buy me rice without fish or meat. That was really nice. <laughs> I'm so happy. Happiness won't kill me. This guy enter a tree, buy food without meat for me. No matter what you are doing in this life, avoid your ex. Why did you enter my room like that without knocking? Oh, uh, because the other day you also entered the room without knocking. Excuse you, this is my room, so I can enter into this room whenever I like. Wow. But can I ask you, why do you think there's something special about this your room? I mean, it's just a room. It's meant to be entered. I hope it's not because of what happened the last time that you feel like you have access to this room. Um, if I can have access to the room. Leave, leave, leave. Leave my room, please. Leave my room. You see, blessing, if there's one thing I know for sure, is that I've known you for more than two years and I know almost everything about you. I know when you're serious, I know when you mean something, and I know, I know when you don't mean them. And the fact that you're standing right here doesn't mean you really want me to leave, do you? I mean, deep down, I, you know, when you mean something, there's a way you stammer up. When you are really angry and you really want me to do something, you stammer up. But right now, there's a smile forming from inside of you that you are holding and you are trying not to let it come outside. It's fine, baby. You can let it come outside. You don't want me to leave, do you? Leave my room. You don't want me to leave. Leave my room. You know, there's something Yoruba people used to say. Once Debe is forever Debe. You feel me? Don't you feel me, baby? Bye, you leave my room. Yeah? Leave my room. Why are you coming close to me? You say what? Leave my room. You say what? I said you should leave leave my room. 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 So for me, but she shall need you only money me the little me. Arrest me for a felony. You want to move fame, you're the fellow me. Where will you be when I need your time? Take me away to your paradise. Where will you be? Girl, don't tell me lies. Call on me, call on me. I'm not here just to call on me. Let your love rain on me. What, I what exactly are you trying to do? I'm trying to give you a good morning kiss. Good morning kiss. Look, let me remind you, I have a boyfriend that loves me. 
and I love him too. So please don't go around giving me kisses like we're dating. We're not dating. You gave me a and I needed it. And you show me love when I wasn't feeling it. And you help me find Why are you in my face? To be honest, I have been expecting you. Although some part of me says you will not come. But here you are. Please come inside. Welcome to my my little apartment. Welcome to my little place. This is where I manage for now. Nice place. Thank you. But why don't you just sit in the corner? Why the kitchen? Um, we are in the bedroom because the AC in the parlor is not as cold as the one in the bedroom. Are you not feeling some kind? Chilled, you know. Are you not feeling the cold? Yes, now. Yes, and the AC here is special. And you're a special girl. I can't let you be in that kind of heat. So I want you to be somewhere you you'll be really comfortable. Come on, it's fine. It's fine. It's just you and I. I don't bite. All right. I don't bite. So why don't you have a seat? So me. I just want you to feel at home. Also, what would you like to eat, drink, anything? Just tell me. Fine. You're fine? Yeah. No. Look, I just stocked my fridge with full stuff. All right? Anything you want to eat, just name it. I got you covered. Oh, worry. I'm fine. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, it's because you said you are okay otherwise. Um, anyway, uh, I just want to say I, 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 I like the fact that you are here. And also, I don't know, I don't know. Before I met you, what if I tell you that I, I, I have imagined this moment. I have dreamt about this moment right here. The moment we enter this room, it feels like something I've seen before. You know that, that, that kind of moment where something... It, it all feels like a deja vu, something you've seen before, something that has happened. I imagine us sitting together, having this kind of conversation. Yeah. I think I remember, I could imagine me talking to you the way I am talking right now. And if I remember clearly, I imagine myself getting up, trying to come close to you, trying to give you a kiss. Hey, I was, hey, hey, hey. What's all this? What's going on? Are you trying to tell me that you don't have a girlfriend? Come on. If I had a girlfriend, you would not be here. Alright, look, look, look. I know this sounds like an old story, a story that you hear all the time. But trust me, this is nothing like it. I... I got you there on. Yeah. The girl that I so much love, that I gave my everything for, she cheated on me. And guess what? She cheated on me with my best friend. Uh, we were all, all hanging out, and my girlfriend, uh, my girlfriend started talking to my best friend behind my back. 
at first I thought it was normal. I thought she was trying to be friends with my friends. I never knew they were stabbing me in the back. So sorry about that. I I still replay all this memory all the time in my head. You talking about girlfriend right now, you remind me of my of my wound. It's just like you opening my wound. I'm so sorry about that. You don't know how I feel right now telling you this story because this is one of my biggest pain, the biggest pain I have ever experienced in this life. I'm sorry about I don't I don't know how to feel. I don't know. So I was betrayed. Surprise!